Hi and welcome to Caitrim and Chained. Well, this week's test week here at Caitrim F1. While the race team is over in Barcelona for the third and final test, it's all go here at the factory. Well, coming up, you'll soon see why I'm dressed in this lovely forensic science suit, AKA spray suit, as we're in the paint zone. We've had a few busy and colourful weeks here at Caterham F1 with visitors from the Prime Minister to our sponsors cooling by. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, technical progression is still taking place. This is Elliot. Elliot develops things here at Caterham F1. So what are we talking about anyway? Elliot is now going to tell us exactly what we'll be doing to the car during the Barcelona test. Well, we've got two new bits of test equipment on the, uh, on the car this week. We've got a, a pressure tapped um, rear wing and we've also got a pressure rake for measuring the exhaust performance. So this is, the, this is what is left of the, the rig that we've been using to develop the, uh, our, our exhausts on. And the pressure rake is normally mounted in this location here. So if you look on the car just in front of the, one of the rear wheels and you should see a, a matrix of what looks like pipes um, and those are pressure tappings and we use those for measuring the, uh, the exhaust flow from, uh, from our exhaust pipe and see how that's then distributed ov over the floor area and how it's then uh, distributed over the front of the tyre as well. We also have the pressure tap rear wing on the car this week um, and, and that's much harder to see because all of the pressure tappings are on the underside of, of the main plane. This information here shows us how the pressure is distributed over over the floor area and over the, the rear tyre. So we've, we've got different bits of information of on the wind tunnel and we've also got different in information from actual track data. And what we're really trying to look at is the airflow over the wing and just making sure that its performance is correct in all of the orientations that we see on the car. So as the car drives around the circuit and, and yours and pitches, we want to make sure that the airflow is still attached in the correct way. So that, this, is the, this is the way that we achieve that. This year, Jerez and Barcelona have hosted the 2013 pre-season testing. Well, for each test, each team is allowed to run one car with two drivers. Well, over the three tests, test two and test three being held in Barcelona, the car will perform on average around 500 kilometers a day. Once all the system checks and setup procedures have taken place, the car's surface has taken a bit of a beating. Well, it's then up to Mick to make it look as shiny as before. Hi, I'm Michael, paint shop supervisor for Caterham F1 team. So like this car came back from the test, we strip it down, took all the paint off, and then we filled any imperfections. Then we masked up and primed it. Priming is the, um, it's like, a, like an undercoat basically, if you were decorating a home you put an undercoat on first, rub it so it's all smooth and then um, put the colour on. Ready. So after primer we rub it down. Once we've got rid of all the imperfections we mask it up again and um, put the colour on. We obviously have a supply and a sponsorship with DuPont, so the colour's been mixed specially for us. Once the colour's on, we line it, basically put the stripes on. So once them stripes are on, we lacquer it. So it's all nice and clean. So then we lacquer it up and then we polish. And once it's polished, we demask, clean, send to the race team. The green's got more um, metallic in it this year, obviously, and it's, it's lightened up. Hopefully everybody else likes it. My wife liked it, I know that. Um, so it's just more vibrant. You can see it more on television, through cameras. It's, it's a lot better. Between test two and test three, while the car stayed away, one of our drivers found time to play. Charles Pitt competed in an ice race in the Russian capital, Moscow. This will be my first time on, on ice, so for sure it will be quite uh, exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Renault's Race of Stars saw drivers from F1, touring cars, to rallying, all sliding it out on the ice, competing for overall victory in sub-zero conditions. 
Join us next time as we'll be finding out how we got on at the final test in Barcelona. And remember to keep up to date with all the latest action. Hit the like button, pop your comments in the box below and subscribe.